Welcome or welcome back to Whispers and Shadows. We tread where few dare, delving into tales that lurk in the shadows of history and the whispers of legends. A massive thank you to all our subscribers for venturing with us into the unknown. If you're new here, brace yourself, for today's journey takes us deep into the heart of Scotland to unravel the macabre tale of Sawney Bean. Join us as we lift the veil on a story where horror meets history. Sawney Bean, the Scottish cannibal. Nestled deep in the folds of Scottish folklore lies a tale so grotesque, so deeply disturbing, that its authenticity has been questioned over the years. This is the legend of Alexander Sawney Bean, often referred to as Scotland's most infamous cannibal. Origins and Early Life The history of Sawney Bean is shrouded in the mists of time, with the exact dates of his birth and heinous deeds remaining unclear. Legend places him in the late medieval period, during the reigns of James I and James VI of Scotland, between the 13th and 16th centuries. Born in East Lothian to a laboring family, Sawney showed an early disdain for honest work. Instead of following in his father's footsteps, he chose a life of crime and debauchery, partnering with a woman often believed to be named Agnes Douglas, who allegedly shared his sinister inclinations. The cave dwelling and expansion of the clan. Escaping the scrutiny of society, Sawney and Agnes found refuge in a remote coastal cave near Ballantrae in Ayrshire. This cavern, hidden by high tides for the majority of the day and extending almost a mile into the hillside, provided the perfect lair for their nefarious activities. Over the next two decades, the Beans expanded their family in this concealed environment, with estimates suggesting they had eight sons, six daughters, 18 grandsons, and 14 granddaughters. The clan's exponential growth was primarily the result of incestuous relationships within the cave. The family formed a close-knit unit of criminals, with each member contributing to their shared life of crime, crimes, and cannibalism. The Bean family survived mainly through ambushes on travelers and local villagers. They'd attack during the night, robbing their victims of valuables and then dragging them back to their cave. There, the unfortunate souls met a grim fate. They were butchered, their body parts pickled or dried for later consumption. Leftover remains were discarded into the sea, though occasionally they washed ashore, bringing terror to nearby villages. Despite countless disappearances, the Bean family eluded capture for over two decades. The countryside was terrorized, inns were deserted, and travelers feared for their lives. Yet the cunning of the clan and the remoteness of their dwelling meant that their secret remained hidden. Capture and Punishment the clan's reign of terror eventually came to an end when they ambushed a couple returning from a fair. While they managed to kill the woman, the man fought back fiercely, fending them off until other travelers approached, causing the beans to flee. This encounter provided enough evidence for the authorities, leading to a manhunt. The clan's capture was swift. Surprised by an armed contingent led by the king himself, they were taken to Edinburgh and tried for their crimes. The evidence of their atrocities, including heaps of jewelry, preserved body parts, and pickled limbs was overwhelming. The clan's fate was sealed. The men were dismembered and left to bleed to death, while the women and children, after watching the grisly fate of the men, were burned alive. Cultural Impact The legend of Sawney Bean has had a lasting impact on horror folklore. While some believe the tale is a mere myth or an exaggerated version of actual events, it undoubtedly warns about the dangers lurking on lonely roads. This gruesome tale has also permeated pop culture. Wes Craven's 1977 horror film, The Hills Have Eyes, was inspired by the Bean Clan, telling the story of a family of cannibalistic mutants preying on travelers in the Nevada desert. The themes and gruesome nature of the Sawney Bean legend can also be found echoed in various other horror films and literature throughout the years. In conclusion, whether fact or fiction, the story of Sawney Bean and his cannibal clan remains a haunting piece of Scottish folklore, a chilling reminder of the horrors that can lurk in the shadows of society and the dark corners of our world. As the shadows deepen and the whispers quieten, we come to the end of yet another chilling journey. If you felt the shivers down your spine and the tales have kept you at the edge, do us a favor. Hit that like button and consider subscribing to Whispers and Shadows for more haunting tales. Remember, every click, every like, every share pulls more stories from the darkness. Until next time, keep the candles lit and never fear the unknown.